Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. In this video we're going to be reviewing the ChargePoint HomeFlex EV charger that you can see right here. Now this is part of a video series. In the first video I did an unboxing and I showed you everything that comes with the product. In the second video I showed you how to mount and install the unit and connect it to the mobile app. And here we're going to be both talking about things that I like and don't like about the product and I'm also going to show you a demonstration where I charge a Tesla Model Y with this unit. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you're into electric vehicle content. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first I'll talk about some of the specifications of the product. So this is considered a level two charger and it charges at 240 volts. There are essentially three electrical configurations for this charger. So you can either plug it in with a NEMA 14-50 plug, a NEMA 6-50 plug, or you can directly hardwire the unit. So one thing that I wanted to clarify from the marketing material from ChargePoint is that when you plug the unit in, you can actually only get a maximum of 40 amps out of the unit. The only way to get the full 50 amps is if you hardwire the charger. Now this is something that I don't think is made clear in either the website or the Amazon listing. And so what I chose to do was call ChargePoint and kind of ask them about that and see what their response was. Now after a long conversation with ChargePoint on the phone, I was actually really happy to see that they not only appreciated the feedback but promise to update the marketing material in the near future. Now, one other piece of feedback that I gave to ChargePoint is that they should offer a third variant of the product where you can purchase it without one of the NEMA plugs. If you just wanna hardwire the charger, right now, the only way you can do that is to buy it with a plug and then remove the plug and then connect your hardwire directly to the charger. So this is something that kind of goes against being green. And if you're selling a product that's supposed to be sustainable and improving the planet, it doesn't really make sense to sell a product with something that then is gonna get removed and then end up in a landfill somewhere. So overall, I think this is another bit of feedback that was really appreciated by ChargePoint. And they did say they're gonna take this into consideration and possibly offer this as an option in the future. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and actually demonstrate the product charging a Tesla Model Y. Now, in order to do that, you're gonna need one of these. So this is something that comes with the Tesla. This is a adapter that allows you to go from J1772 to a Tesla adapter. And basically, you can just plug it into the handle and then plug it directly into the car. Another thing to note here is that the charging cable itself is 23 feet long. So when you compare that to some other chargers on the market that are only 18 feet long, this is actually a pretty good length and it allows you to reach your car even if it's fairly far away. Another thing to note about this charger is that it has a nice storage location for the handle that actually pivots. And this makes it easier to both insert the handle and remove it from the charger. So let's go ahead now and plug it into the car and start charging. So we could see here that the light just turned green and now let's go check out the dashboard. And here we could see that we're charging at 40 amps. And once again, we're only able to reach 40 amps because we plugged the unit into the wall. Before we started charging, the car was already at 215 miles of range. So we are gonna be charging a little bit slower than we would be if the battery was more empty. But right now we're charging at 34 miles per hour. And it's estimating that in order to get to our charge set point, that we have another hour and 50 minutes to go. And one other thing to note is that we're charging at just around that 240 volt mark. All right, so now that we've seen the charger in action, let's go ahead and unplug it from the car to complete the demonstration. So to do so, all you're gonna do is press the trigger on the handle. You're gonna see that it unlocks right here. 
that's going to allow you to pull the handle away. And because we're using a Tesla adapter, you are going to have to pull this out separately. All right, so now I'll give you some of my overall thoughts on the ChargePoint HomeFlex EV charger. And I'll start with some of the things that I like about the product. So first of all, the product came packaged really well. Nothing was damaged or broken upon delivery. And this is a product that's available on Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, it's something you can order today and have delivered to your home in two days. The general aesthetics of the product are really nice. It has a sleek design and having that hook feature in order to wrap the cable around is definitely an added bonus. The 23 foot long cable is also nice. Some other chargers on the market have shorter cables. So having that extra length allows you to reach your vehicle from a longer distance. So another feature that I really like with this charger is the handle storage mechanism. So having that pivoting holder for the handle makes it really easy to insert and take the handle out. And that's definitely nice when you're going to charge your car. Now, in terms of the installation, the installation was really simple. It's really just three screws that mount it onto the wall and then connecting the cable to the unit. And I found this to be pretty easy and something that anyone can do in a matter of 15 minutes or so. Overall, the mobile app was very easy to set up and it has a lot of functionality built into the app that I found was really user-friendly to use. As for things that I don't like about the product, overall, there are a few things that I think could be improved. To start, I think the mobile app should be able to provide real-time data while you're charging the car, and that's something that's currently not available on the app, but something that ChargePoint may add in the future with a software update. Another thing that I really don't like is the impact in the environment. So if you are planning to hardwire the product, you should have the ability to purchase the product without a plug. This is otherwise something that you're gonna to have to remove from the unit, throw away, and it's gonna end up in a landfill somewhere. So this is something that has a negative impact to the environment, and I think it kind of goes against what the company stands for. In addition to this being something that's bad for the environment, it's something that's also costing more money for you as the consumer. Essentially, you're paying for the manufacturing costs and not seeing any benefit as a customer. The last thing I don't like is the price point. I think right now at $700, it's a little bit overpriced. And I say that only because when you compare it to something like the Tesla Gen 3 charger, that's a charger that only goes for $500. So I'd like to see this charger closer in that $500 range. One thing that I did want to note is although ChargePoint does offer 24 seven support, you can only get technical support Monday through Friday. So if you do call in on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, you can get kind of general support, but you won't be able to get technical support for the product on the weekend. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Definitely make sure to check out the description below for all the information covered in the video. And if you still have any questions or comments, then make sure to leave those in the comment section below. If you found any value in the video, consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider doing that to get more electric vehicle content in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.